Hello, my name is Hiroshi Onuki. The title of my talk is Radical Isogenies on Mongolian Curves. This is a joint work with Tomoki Moria. First, I give an overview of our work. Isogeny based cryptography is one of the candidates for post quantum cryptography. An advantage of isogeny based cryptography is a small keys and ciphertext. On the other hand, the computation of isogeny-based script protocols is relatively slow because of isogeny computation. So speeding up isogeny computation is important. Radical isogenies are one of the techniques speeding up isogeny computation. These are formulas computing repeating isogeny of the same degree. Uh, Radical isogenies were proposed by Kastrick, Decru, and Berkotren at AsiaCrypt 2020. They constructed radical isogenies on tape normal forms, which are forms of elliptic curves. In this work, we constructed radical isogenies of degree 3 and 4 on Montgomery curves. Our formulas reduce the cost of transformations between curves in some protocols. In addition, we prove a conjecture left by open by CDV 2020. I introduced some mathematics for my talk. An elliptic curve is a smooth algebraic curve of genus 1. An elliptic curve has an abelian group structure. I mean that um, we can define an addition on points on an elliptic curve. And there are many forms of elliptic curves. In isogeny based cryptography, we often use uh, Montgomery curves, which are defined by uh, this equation. The reason why we use Montgomery curves is that uh, these curves have efficient formulas for scalar multiplications and isogenies. An isogeny is a non-zero rational homomorphism between elliptic curves. Let phi be an isogeny from E to E prime. Then we can define the degree of phi and denote it by dig phi. And there is an isogeny with the inverse direction called the dual isogeny. The dual isogeny of phi is denoted by a phi hat. A phi hat is a map from E prime to E, and the degree of phi hat is the same as that of phi. Here is an example of an isogeny of uh, degree 2. Uh, let E be an elliptic curve over a field K and N an integer co-prime to the characteristic of N K. Then there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the set of uh, subgroups of E of order N and the set of isogeny of degree N from E. In this correspondence, a subgroup, subgroup G corresponds to an isogeny with kernel G. We denote this isogeny by uh, phi G and its codomain by E over G. In this work, we only consider the case that G is cyclic, which is a case appearing in isogeny based cryptography. In other words, we consider a subgroup generated by a point P on an elliptic curve. Given an elliptic curve E and points P and Q on E, the isogeny phi P is uh, computable efficiently. The meaning of computing phi P is computing the image of Q under phi P and its codomain E over P. On the other hand, given uh, E and E over P, 
computing P is considered to be hard even by a quantum computer. A surgeon-based cryptography is based on this assumption. I introduce two isogeny-based protocols, C-side and c -surf. c -side is a Diffie-Hellman type key exchange protocol which was proposed by Catholic Rang, Martindale, Pani, and Rennes at Asia Crypto 2018. I don't explain detail of c -side. The important things for my talk are that c -side uses uh, LPT curves and isogeny defined over a prime field FP. And where uh, P is a prime congruent to 3 mod 8. And C side uses only isogenies of odd degrees. And C self is a variant of C side which was proposed by uh, Castric and the crew at BQ Crypto 2020. She self uses a prime congruent to 7 mod 8 and also uses isogeny of degree 2 and 4. Now I introduce radical isogenies. Let E be an empty curve over a field K and an integer co-prime to the characteristic of K and P a point on E of order N. A radical isogeny is a formula of a map between empty curves and a point on it of order N. A pair uh, E and P corresponds to uh, E over P and uh, P prime. A P prime satisfying the group generated by uh, phi hat of P prime is equal to the group generated by P. I'll explain the meaning of uh, this condition in the next slide. The theory of a radical isogeny says that uh, one can choose a form of uh, E over P and P prime are defined over K of an nth root of rho, where rho is the tight pairing of P and negative P. If you don't know what the plate pairing is, it's not a problem. The important thing here is that the value rho can be efficiently computed by E and P. And this is an image of a radical isogeny. Given uh, E and P, a radical isogeny computes E over P and P prime. The condition on P prime in the previous slide says that the isogeny with kernel generated by P is not the dual isogeny of the isogeny with kernel generated by P. In other words, the isogeny with kernel generated by P prime has a forward direction. And there are uh, n isogenies with such directions. The number n is corresponding to the number of choices of an nth root of rho. Uh, CDB 2020 uses forms of every curves such that uh, p and p prime are uh, 0, 0. Uh, here are such forms. In the case uh, n equals 3, uh, the curve is uh, defined by this equation. And uh, in the case uh, n is greater than 3, uh, they use state normal form, the curve defined by this form, where uh, the questions b and c satisfy a relation depending on n. There are examples of radical isogenies. Uh, 
Uh, for <coughs> for n equals three, the questions of the codomain are represented as uh, this and this, where alpha is a cube root of negative s three. Uh, this is the case that n equals four. Here, alpha alpha is a fourth root of negative b. This is a computing flow in radical isogenies of degree three. First, given an elliptic curve, we compute a point of order three and the questions uh, a1 and a3 from the point. Next, we compute the questions a1 prime and a3 prime of the codomain E prime of the isogeny with kernel generated by 0, 0 on E by the radical isogeny formula. The questions of the codomain of the isogeny with kernel generated by 0, 0 on uh, E prime can be computed uh, in the same way, uh, and so on. An advantage of this computing method is that uh, we only need to generate a point of order n of the first isogeny. Uh, there is no computation for the kernels of intermediate isogenies. This accelerates isogenies of small degrees uh, in C side and C -saf. especially C -saf because uh, C -saf uses the degree 4. Then, uh, how to choose a radical alpha in C side and C -saf? This answer is that we should choose alpha in a prime field FP in uh, these protocols. Uh, there is the unique nth root in FP if uh, n is coprime to P minus one. And if n is odd degree used in C side and C -saf, it is the case. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, we can determine the choice of alpha. To apply radical isogenies to CSAF, uh, we need to transform our curve computed by radical isogenies to a Montgomery curve uh, for uh, generating the first kernel and uh, computing higher degree isogenies. Uh, these computations are more efficient on Montgomery curves. In the case n equal to uh, 4, there are uh, two false roots in a prime field FP, so uh, we need to determine which one corresponds to an isogeny used in CSAF. The choice is conjectured by CDB 2020, but uh, not proven. In this work, uh, we constructed radical isogenies of degree 3 and 4 on Montgomery curves. Uh, this reduces the cost of transformations. In addition, we proved the conjecture on n equal 4. Uh, before I explain our work, we recall Montgomery curves. A Montgomery curve is an elliptic curve defined by uh, this equation. We call the quotient A uh, the Montgomery quotient of this curve. Uh, here are some important properties of Montgomery curves. The order of the point 0, 0 is 2. A point whose x coordinate is 1 or negative 1 is a half of uh, zero, 0, 0. We denote uh, the four cyclic group generated by a point of x coordinate 1. Uh, by uh, CE4. Let T be the x coordinate of a point of order 3, uh, then the Montgomery quotient is 
given by uh, this. So a Montgomery curve is determined by the x coordinate of a point of order 3 on net. Now I introduce our contributions. The first is a radical isogeny formula of degree 3. A pair of a Montgomery curve and a point of order 3 on net is represented by uh, the x coordinate of uh, the point of order 3, t. Uh, so uh, there is a radical isogeny between uh, such uh, t's. Indeed, uh, we proved this theorem. Let E a t be a pair of a Montgomery curve and a point of order 3 on it. Uh, and phi be an isogeny with kernel generated by a point of x coordinate t. A red t prime be the x coordinate of a point of order 3 on the codomain of phi that satisfies uh, this condition. Remember that this condition uh, comes from the direction of the isogeny with kernel generated by a point of x coordinate uh, t prime. Then uh, t prime is computed by this. The fair uh, alpha is a cube root of this. Uh, the next is a formula for a degree 4. The Montgomery quotient naturally determines a four cyclic subgroup on the Montgomery curve. So there is a radical isogeny between Montgomery quotients. Let E be a Montgomery curve with quotient A and a phi B an isogeny of a kernel uh, CE4 uh, that satisfies uh, this condition. And let a prime be the Montgomery quotient of the codomain of phi and define small a and small a prime as uh, this and this. Then small a prime is computed by this, where alpha is a fourth root of small a. Uh, here is a comparison between the original radical isogenies and ours. In the original, first we transform a Montgomery curve in M to a tight normal form ET. Next, uh, we compute radical isogenies repeatedly. Finally, we transform again the resulting uh, curve uh, ETN to a Montgomery curve EMN. In this work, uh, there is no transformation, uh, but we need some computation for values used in radical isogenies. Uh, these costs uh, is uh, much smaller than the transformations in the original. This is the cost of the original and our radical isogenies in uh, Shisa. Here, uh, E stands for exponentiation, M multiplication, A addition, and I inversion. Uh, in Shisa, a radical is computed by an exponentiation whose exponent is about p. So the cost of E is approximately 1.5 log pm. Uh, in degree 3, uh, CDB 2020 needs exponentiations for transformations. On the other, other hand, our formula doesn't need exponentiation for recovering the quotient. In degree 4, a CDB 2020 doesn't need exponentiation but uh, inversion for transformations. 
Our formula uh, doesn't need either for recovering the quotient. Next, I explain our second contribution, which is about a choice of a false root in CSAF. We proved uh, that in the radical isogeny of degree 4 on Montgomery curve, we can compute the isogeny used in CSAF by taking uh, a radical alpha as uh, this. By using a nice uh, sorry, uh, by using a nice morphism between a Montgomery curve and a tight normal form, uh, we can prove the conjecture on radical isogenies of degree four from this theorem. Indeed, we proved this. In the radical isogeny of degree four on tight normal forms, we can compute the isogeny used in CSAF by taking a radical alpha as this. This is a conjecture by CDB 2020. Finally, I conclude my talk. We constructed radical isogeny of degree 3 and 4 on Montgomery curves. Our formula slightly improved the efficiency of CSAF using radical isogenies. And we proved the conjecture on degree 4 left as open by CDB 2020. One of the future work is searching other applications of radical isogenies. For example, random works in isogeny graphs could be a candidate. That's all. Thank you for watching.